The February 2016 Gazette notice declaring the expansive 500,000 square kilometers bony forest as belonging to the state continued to elicit varied opinions. In 2015, the government had secured the forest to pave way for a legal security operation to rid the area of Al Shabaab militants thought to have been using it as a base for their operations. However, locals led by area MP Mohammed Abbas want the Gazette notice revoked saying that the land belongs to the community. We are talking about literally a central province, Nairobi and Machakos County combined. How on earth do you cut you know, that size of land from one constituency? We will never accept that. Some people may be thinking about uh, the fact that security might have been behind the issue. But my question is this. If an al shabaab attacks in Nairobi or attacks anywhere else, do you evacuate the entire people with their properties and livestock from that place? That's a divisive way of going about it. Speaking during a public participation meeting organized by National Assembly Departmental Committee on Environment, the locals said that the forest was their only grazing land. Wakati forest hawaishi hapa ijara, ndio saindi hata tunachunga hapo ijara poli boni forest. Tangu wao wamekuta ubishi ijara, kukuja hapa kufanya kambi ndio wameharibika hata boni forest. Narok North legislator Moitalel Olekenta says the committee will examine whether the law was followed in gazetting the forest and whether it was available for alienation. Uh, the only other uh, person that I can do is the National Land Commission. But you see, none, it was not involved. Nobody was involved. So even if the people of Ijara said that they are giving out the land for gazettement, but the procedure was not followed, then it is null and void. Committee Chair Wilberforce Otichilo says that his team will compare the report presented by the committee and the one from the Forest Department before tabling the matter in Parliament next week. Tutaomba Speaker Obunge ashukulikia yu report ya Araka ndiyo iwe isjadiliwe kwa Bunge na uamuzi utolewe na Bunge. Irene Mchuma Odim, Channel 1 Weekend.